What's going on guys? Justin here. We got the Gator back on the lift. Joe's bringing her up right now for stage two. We got a lot to do in this video, including one very cool mod at the end, so definitely stay tuned. Now guys, don't forget, this thing could be yours. It could be in your driveway, this 2023 Badlands Bronco, $100,000 build. All you gotta do is go to extremeterrain.com. For every dollar you spend, you get an entry to win the Gator. Now you got all summer to do it. Drawing ends September 30th. We're doing the drawing on Halloween, so get those entries in. Now, quick recap of stage one, guys. We set the foundation. We added that PPF stealth wrap. Uh, we then added that very, very nice Icon stage six lift kit. The wheels and tires, thanks to Black Rhino and Mickey Thompson. And of course, added some brakes to make sure we can stop this thing. Now for stage two, we're adding a little bit of performance and some functionality under the hood. We kind of want to add some power back uh, after we added those 37s. We're not turning this thing into a race car, but again, we just want to give it a little bit more um, along with keeping things safe under the hood. So that's what we're going to be doing here in this video, guys. Uh, yes, the passenger side wheel is back off. You'll see why in a little bit. But I hear Joe turning wrenches back there, so I'm going to go help him. Let's go. All right, guys, so Joe and I just wrapped up with our first part here for stage two, and that is the AWE Zero FG Catback Exhaust System, the high tuck with the bash guard. Now, big fan of this system. Thanks again to our friends down the street here in Pennsylvania at AWE for hooking us up for the Gator build. And I'm a really big fan of this system for a couple of big reasons. First and foremost, sound. Now, the Gator, it's menacing. It can't have a quiet stock exhaust on it, I'm sorry. And yes, I know the twin turbo V6 EcoBoost isn't the best sounding engine out there. AWE does a pretty damn good job of giving this thing some presence, uh, using a nice deep tone without being too loud, raspy, or farty. In fact, listen up guys, let me know what you think. So there you go, guys. Again, really solid tone overall on the outside. And on the inside of the Bronco, well, you hardly hear anything thanks to that patented 180 technology. In fact, you probably hear those Mickey Thompson Baja Boss tires a lot more than the actual exhaust. Another thing I dig, quality construction. Obviously made right here in the USA using premium materials, 304 grade stainless steel throughout, guys. Three inch mandrel bent tubing ending in this high tuck bash guard here. Basically that bash guard is a 1 8 stainless steel ring wrapped around that three inch tubing to prevent this thing from collapsing if we do happen to catch it on a rock or an obstacle off-road. So big fan of that, big fan of the added departure angle with that in place. So overall guys, a nice way to get started. AWE claims a few horsepower and torque from the system when installed, so that's always nice to hear. But up next, we're gonna move to the front of the Gator here where we have a trio of parts from another local manufacturer. So let's check those out next. Yeah, guys, like I just said, we got a trio of parts here under the hood from another local friend, Mishimoto, coming to us from the great state of Delaware. Let's talk about what they sent us for the Gator, starting off with the twin baffled oil catch can setup. I cannot stress the importance of a catch can on an EcoBoost engine enough, guys. Anytime you increase the cylinder pressure, like twin turbocharging or forced induction in general, you are just going to get blow by. It happens and it's got to go somewhere. All of that extra oil, unburnt fuel, condensation, all that junk typically gets rerouted back into your intake manifold to be burnt off during the next combustion cycle, but a lot of times it ends up gumming up the inside of your intake manifold, the backside of your valves, and even in some extreme cases can dilute your fuel or even your oil. So all no good. Uh, so preventing that now is the Mishimoto dual can setup. Really, really nice setup here, guys. As you can see, twin billet aluminum canisters, factory style molded hoses with the factory style connectors, really nice bracket that mounts everything to the firewall out of the way and away from any of the engine vibration and both passenger and driver side options. Basically an all out warfare against blow by. It's going to definitely capture everything we throw at it. Uh, on top of that, I'm a really big fan of just how it looks. It's a very stock looking system. It doesn't jump out under the hood. In fact, it looks like it could be a factory installed part, which I'm a big fan of. Speaking of looking like a factory part, uh, actually this one looks a little bit better if we can be honest. We have the Mishimoto aluminum expansion tank over in that far corner. 
The stock coolant expansion tank, it's clear, it's plastic, it kind of sticks out under the engine bay like a sore thumb. Uh, and it can also crack, right? Plastic is just prone to cracking over the years. So we ditched that thing, threw it in the trash. Now we have that TIG welded aluminum Mishimoto option in the wrinkle black. Really flows well with the rest of the engine bay. It's got a nice little window so we can keep an eye on our coolant levels, of course. And it's aluminum. It's going to be far better when it comes to overall durability over the years. So uh, both of these parts, by the way, lifetime warranty. They fit great and they absolutely look great. And obviously they perform pretty well also. But let's cruise on down. We have a third part to talk about here, guys. It's going to be very hard to see, but trust me, it's in there. What we're talking about is the Mishimoto Performance Intercooler, specifically for the 2.7 liter EcoBoost here in black. Uh, guys, here's our stocker for reference. Nothing terrible, right? But we have these cheap plastic end tanks, which can be prone to failure over the years, especially if you beat this thing up like we plan on doing. So Mishimoto basically takes the stock location and just puts the biggest intercooler they can fit in there while increasing all of the materials and the quality in the process. So what you're looking at is roughly a 77% increase in core volume with the Mishimoto in place, almost a 200% increase in fin surface area. So that's gonna mean your flow is gonna be up and your temperatures are going to be down. And that's extremely important, right? Because temperature with the EcoBoost, heat soak in general is a problem, guys. I had a Gen 2 Raptor with the EcoBoost, a uh, stock intercooler, once the thing got hot, it was an absolute dog, fell on its face. And same can be said for this thing, wheeling off-road on a hot day, lugging these 37s around. Once it gets hot, it's not going to like it at all. So if we can ditch that factory intercooler, replace it with the Mishi, and keep those temperatures down, keep performance up, that's gonna make for a better day for everybody on the trail, including the new owner of this Gator. So I'm a big fan of the Mishimoto stuff. Again, stock location, you don't have to modify everything or anything, plus we still have our factory parking sensors and our adaptive cruise control fits like a glove. So really big shout out again to our friends over at Mishimoto for hooking us up with some vital parts here for the Gator. We got one more to go in this stage, guys. It's kind of a biggie. We gotta break out the saw, so let's get after it. All right, guys, we're getting ready to install our last part here in stage two. Joe's got the template in place. Uh, he's got his whole punch here coming up. Um, it's about to get real. There you go, guys. If you ever wonder what it's like to drill into a brand new 60 plus thousand dollar Bronco, well, we're about to find out. We got the big old hole saw out. Joe, you ready to make some noise, buddy? <laughs> here we go. No turning back. There it is. We're sure it's the passenger side fender, right? Oh, man, I think it was the other side. <laughs> now, if you guys remember, some of our early inspiration for the Gator build here was that Bronco Everglades trim uh, equipped with awesome parts like that factory snorkel. Well, we don't have a factory snorkel on the Gator. Instead, we have the first to market aftermarket option from our friends over at Air Raid. Check this thing out, guys. It's a thing of beauty. Air Raid snorkel available for both the 2.3 and the 2.7 EcoBoost Bronco. Now, Joe just had the pleasure of drilling two massive holes into our brand new Bronco. Uh, definitely a little nerve wracking, but the finished product, you can't even tell, obviously, and it went on great. Now, besides the drilling of the holes, what you have to do is tap into your factory or K&N airbox. This kit will also work with an aftermarket k and setup for your Bronco. We got the stock airbox still in place, guys, so what you do is you tap in this little elbow to the factory airbox, goes through the fender, obviously, and at that point, they give you a nice gasket here to marry up to the fender itself, and also a gasket between the elbow and your airbox, so it's essentially as airtight as it's going to get. If you're traveling behind some other rigs off-road, it's really dusty, it's gonna keep that intake up and out of the way hopefully get you some cleaner air up there. I'm a big fan of this thing, not only from a performance standpoint, but more specifically, a design standpoint. Uh, it is really good looking, guys. Don't get me wrong, that factory Ford snorkel is awesome, but this is pretty damn close. I'm a really big fan of the angular design here. It really hugs the lines of the fender really, really well. And more importantly, I'm really digging this little indentation area here because if you remember our air design flares back there, it's got kind of the same thing going on. So there's a lot of consistency with the look here, something I really dig, I'm really proud of that. And uh, again, we've got the nice little Air Raid logo up top there. So again, guys, the big inspiration was at Everglades, but again, with more teeth, 
We think the Gator is delivering so far, guys, and a big part of that is thanks to this brand new Air Raid Snorkel. Well, guys, as we drop the hood on the Gator here, that is going to wrap up stage two. Uh, guys, don't forget, this thing could be in your driveway. That's right, the Gator could be yours. All you gotta do is go to extremeterrain.com. For every dollar you spend, you get an entry. Buy a shirt, buy a bumper, whatever the case, the more you spend, the more entries you get. Don't forget, you got all summer long to get those entries in. Drawing is gonna close September 30th, and we're gonna give this thing away on Halloween, October 31st. Up next, well, you can see we're still missing a lot of parts here. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that in stage three. You definitely don't wanna miss that video coming to you very soon. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm Justin. Thanks for watching. And remember, for all things Bronco, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.